So the HP touchpad has finally landed here in the UK, but was it worth the wait? Watch this full HD video review with me, Mark Brown, and find out if this is the device for you. The HP touchpad features a 9.7 inch high resolution display, a front facing camera, micro USB port, but comes in at 740 grams, which is quite disappointing as it's heavier than both the new iPad 2 and Galaxy Tab. But let's go through some of the plus points of the HP touchpad compared to other devices. The HP touchpad features true multitasking in the form of cards. It's a very intuitive system that makes multitasking a breeze. The great thing about WebOS is that you can group cards in a stack, which makes it real easy when working on projects. For example, you can have email and web browsing in one stack, and music and photos in another. When you're done with an app, there's no holding down icons and deleting it with a small X, you simply swipe the app off the screen. Notifications are really great on the touchpad. Instead of interrupting your workflow, you get a nice little message at the top of your screen. The home screen button also lights up to let you know something or someone is waiting for you. And that notification at the top, you can either swipe it off the screen to ignore it or simply tap it to be taken directly to that app. Like it or not, Flash is still used on millions of websites across the internet and if you have an iPad, you simply can't view them. The touchpad comes with Flash Player built in, which means you get all of the internet, all of the time. Synergy is a great system in WebOS, which syncs all of your various social networks together on one device. All you do is just enter your username and password for things like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, Skype or any other network you may have, and everything is synced together on your HP touchpad. For example, go to the photo app and you'll see all of the photos from your device as well as all of your photos from Facebook. You can even comment directly on your device and it will be sent directly to the Facebook system. Any comments from Facebook will also be brought back directly to your HP touchpad. If you're like me, you hate hunting for wires when your device is running low on power. Well, if you opt for the optional touchstone stand, when you pop your HP touchpad onto the stand, it wirelessly starts charging and enters exhibition mode. This is a really amazing feature and it's probably one of my favourite features of the hardware itself. Just Type is a simple feature in which you can start to type anything and search your entire device. You can also search a multitude of websites or start creating a tweet, email or SMS for example. So with all these great features, would I recommend this device? I think it really depends on what kind of user you are. If you're a gamer, for example, then I'd still have to recommend the iPad 2 just because there's thousands more games out there and the device itself is much lighter. However, if you're a business user such as me, then I really think the HP touchpad is a better device. Now, let me explain. Email is one of those things which really annoy me with iOS and Android. And the reason is because if you start writing an email within your iPad, you can't get back to your inbox. There's some times when you're writing an email and you may need to reference two or three other emails and you'll need to go back to your inbox. With the iPad, you can just forget that. Once you're in and you're composing that email, you cannot go back to your inbox without either saving it as a draft or completely deleting the work you've been doing. So the great thing about WebOS and the Stacks view is that you can just flick up, go to your inbox, check for references, flick up again and go straight back into the email you're writing. And for me, that's a great business feature which saves loads of time. The next thing is Flash. Now, I'm certainly not a great lover of Flash, but with over 1.3 million websites still using the technology, including the likes of Nike and Universal Studios, it's certainly a technology which isn't dead. And I know with my iPad and being on the road, sometimes I get an email uh, telling me to check out a certain website or maybe book uh, a venue. And if the website runs on Flash, then I simply cannot view it. The HP touchpad, however, has Flash built in off the shelf which means you can view every single website out there. And to me, that's another great business feature. The third is Synergy. Synergy is the part of WebOS which brings all of your LinkedIn, Facebook, Google accounts into the device itself. 
It also includes Skype as well. So unlike some other Android devices which may have Skype but you still can't video call, with the HP touchpad because you have Synergy you can video call straight off the shelf again and you can uh, interact with all your other online accounts and other cloud devices. Fourth is storage. Now as you all know iOS 5 is coming out soon for the iPad and Apple have announced iCloud. Now what that is is it's basically a cloud storage for all of your music, all of your documents and this next feature hasn't really been mentioned too much by uh, HP at all but with the HP you will already get a backup system. It, it backups your contacts, it backups your calendars on a daily basis and they've also done a deal with Box.net which means you get 50 gigabytes of storage included with the device. Now if you compare that to the 5 gigabyte storage of Apple and iOS, 50 gigabytes is, a, is an amazing difference for business users. Overall the HP touchpad is a great device and I'd certainly recommend it for business or work based users. There are a few minor issues with speed, however HP have assured me that they will be resolved on an upcoming software update. I'm really looking forward to the future of WebOS and I think if HP can make a slightly thinner and lighter device they could be on the road to taking over that number one spot from Apple. Have they done enough with this device though? Well that's up to you to decide. I'm Mark Brown for Editor's Keys and I'll see you again soon for another video.